Welcome back everybody. In the last video I did, my hair was a lot more vibrant. It faded quite a bit, so that's nice. I've been really waiting for my hair to get all the green out. I feel like my last several washes has not changed the color of my hair. I do have to say this hair, this color is my biggest regret. It will just not wash out. Yeah. So I am sick. I've been sick since I got back from my vacation. I've been coughing a lot. My throat hurts. <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing my makeup and also just talking about things in general. Also, I'm gonna be trying out this. Here we go again with Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna be trying out also this uh, Wet n Wild Cream Liquid Eyeshadow. Actually, when I picked this up, I thought it was a uh, concealer or something. I was like, oh wow, that's really dark. And then it said liquid eyeshadow. I was like, oh, okay, damn. My car broke down in Kansas. It's got to stay there for like a month now to get the whole engine replaced. I feel like this would take forever to dry. Hi. Hi, I love you. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be really good at all. So, eyeshadow primer first. I absolutely love this stuff. It is my favorite. It's so light on my skin. Ah! Too much. I don't know. I just uh, use it for um, overall foundation or coverage or whatever. Let it sit. Warm up to your face. I don't know. It just somehow makes it look better. It just becomes more like tacky, I guess. Tacky. Tacky is a good word. Another Wet n Wild. I'm so cheap with my makeup, but it all works the same, right? Oh no. Oh no. Don't you hate it when your hair sticks to your foundation? I kind of blend this now because I feel it's been sitting long enough. Oh! I've missed something. Hold on. Um, I need to put my concealer on. This stuff is amazing. Also wet and wild. Go figure. Incognito. On my trip, I went to um, Memphis and I met my friend Jason, who's been my friend for a very long time. We just talk every day on the phone. I just wish we would have spent more time together. It might just be easier for me to move there and plus I do love the east and Arkansas is pretty east. He's just always been there for me, always been such a nice guy. He's so sweet and so kind and so gentle. Like we were in the elevator at uh, the, Peabody Mo the Peabody Hotel and he just so ever so lightly just kind of like put his hand like on my like upper butt slash hip area so gently and I was like oh that's so sweet it was really nice when we were talking before we met this is not a big deal because I don't really care I'm just kind of surprised he sent me pictures um that were older like a year or two older some of them I guess maybe were newer but he was way thinner, way thinner in those pictures. When we met in person, he was a little chubby, but I'm like, you know what? I really don't care. I'm chubby too. Why would he not send me pictures of what he looks like now? I don't care if you have a belly. I'm actually sad that he um, didn't feel comfortable enough to send me pictures of him now. So I told him, look, I'm not mad, I'm not upset. Just love your body. He thought I was beautiful. We held hands the entire time while we were in Memphis and it was so, so sweet. It just made me feel so safe and wanted. Just gonna lightly do him. We're just, like I said, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We could just move out east like we wanted to. And he's always complaining about the mosquitoes in Arkansas. Every time he complains about the mosquitoes, I'm like, come to Arizona. And um, he never answers me back on that. I think I'm gonna try this liquid shit right now. Like this don't show up at all. Ugh. This is for someone who has like the palest skin ever. Let's see. I don't want to sound 
presumptuous, but I feel like he's just in love with me, like infatuated, which is kind of a nice feeling. This is actually not bad. This was at the Dollar Tree. It'll be fine. This is the only color they had at the Dollar Tree. I can actually see myself like using this as just a hurry up quick and go sort of um, liquid eyeshadow. I got this from the Dollar Tree too. The Wet n Wild lipstick, which is the one that I just put on. This one is, yeah, Breeze. And it's really nice. Actually, I always love getting these Wet n Wild lipsticks from the Dollar Tree because if I leave my purse in the car and they melt, it was just a dollar. I'm kind of putting like the a very similar color over top just for easier blending. We're, we're not getting any younger. We shouldn't waste time apart. I feel like I just cannot keep up with a story when I'm doing my makeup. I think we would have such a great happy relationship together because he like in our conversations he's always putting me first and that's just in a conversation through text message and phone. He asks me how I'm doing every day. Damn what a breath of fresh air. It's really nice to be put first to be honest because my last relationship did not put me first. Here we go again, bitching about my last relationship. But I was with the guy for two years. He texts me all the time. I miss you. I can't stop thinking about you. You've been on my mind all day. This is a constant, like, almost everyday thing that I hear this from him. And it's so nice. We're always having, like, the nicest conversations. He said, I have not stopped thinking about you since we met. You're on my mind all the time. I just want to replay that day over and over again. So sweet to hear. Mom, look what he said. Like, look what he said. Like, all these nice things. Text him back. And I was like, I told my mom, that's my husband right there. And he's like, oh, we've been talking for over five years. He was like, meeting you just confirmed everything. I thought about you and more. It's really confirmed that I really want to be with you. So I didn't tell Jason this. I'm actually nervous to get back into another relationship, especially a long distance one at the moment. So I know I said I was over my ex, and of course I am. I had a dream about him. So in my dream, I saw my ex. At some point we had started talking. I ended up telling him like how much I missed him we had sex. Why am I dreaming about being intimate with him? Why? 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 I'm not putting, obviously, my time and energy into someone who treated me like shit. I can't believe my own mind just betrayed me like that and had a dream about my ex. But stop it. Oh, whatever. I don't always try to come on my videos and Bad mouth my ex, but my god, like like I said, we were together for two years. It just happens to be a, a reoccurring theme. I guess this last time was the last time, and I, I was with him when his mom died. He proposed to me 20 minutes before his mother passed away when he got the call. After his mom passed away, things just got so much worse. I don't look too bad. I have a lot of love to give. But no one to give it to right now. So I guess he just got tired of having the same kitty cat for two years. And then at the end, of course, it was the, I was never going to marry another fat chick anyway. Okay, well, there are plenty of other guys out there who want to hit this, so. Lack of common sense with that boy. Here comes the tea. After... My ex and I broke up. His friend messages me, tells me about my hair. Oh, look so nice. And you look hot. It's not the first time his friend told me I looked hot. Interesting for you to talk to me like that. You're his friend. I don't want to be called a liar. His friend messages me again. Oh, I love your hair color. I was like, thank you. I'm actually going to be dyeing it purple soon. And he's like, oh, I bet that'll look really great on you. Or no, was it? Either way, I was changing my hair color. So I was like, yeah, I'll send you a picture 
when it's done later on he was like that looks so great on you you're so hot and please don't tell your I don't want to say his name but please don't tell so-and-so um, your ex what I'm saying I don't want this to like get back to anybody and he like really wanted to send me a dick picture and so he sent it to me I took screenshots of the conversation I took screenshots of the picture he sent me so if anyone wants to call me a liar I have proof I don't want to stir the shit pot but I was going to send those pictures to my ex but I just don't want to talk to him he wanted to see my ass so I just sent him like me in like a bra and underwear like nothing revealing at all whatsoever I don't really care you know my ex did the same thing except I didn't reveal anything I was just like at the time really really mad about my ex still I'm still pretty hurt by everything I haven't physically been with another guy besides kissing Jason in Memphis. Jason is such a breath of fresh air. He's such a nice guy. I'm just always happy when I talk to him. I love the sound of his voice. A little southern accent. I like it. I love his voice. His voice is so calming to me. I told myself I would not look for friends with benefits, but I kind of really want a friend with benefits because I feel like the hoe is coming back out of me because I'm so bored and so lonely. Ugh, but I ain't, I ain't trying to be a hoe. <laughs> I have needs. I really need to get working on, like, my next video. It's just, like, this fun little video. It's more memory for me. The passing of my ex's mother made me realize how short time is. And, and I wish I would have known her longer because she was so nice. She was, like, really nice life is so short I always think about that with my mom now like I just want to take more pictures with her and I want to film more things with her we just don't have a lot of time on this earth but thanks for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed